continuing my series on the American version of the Beatles albums. And I got the box set. I'm going through them one at a time. So this is the soundtrack to A Hard Day's Night. And let's see what you give it. And so there's the British version there behind it. So, this is the sleeve. It looks different than the sleeves for the other ones so far. And it's got a nice little plastic here. So, and the label looks different because this one was put out by United Artists, not Capitol Records. So, Let's see what's on there. So, it's kind of hard. First of all, like the other ones I've reviewed so far, it has the mono version first, even though it says stereo here on the. It says stereo here right there, but it has the mono version first and the stereo tracks. And. With this early stuff, the mono version sounds fine. Um, Hard Day's Night, I have trouble hearing much difference at all between the mono version and the stereo version. Uh, the stereo version that's on the red album is much better, and I think that has been revised again for 2023. Uh, also, I uh, listened to the stereo version on the British album. Let me show you here. And it's not as good as the stereo version that's on this disc here. I've, I, I bought the CDs, the 80s mix, in the early part of the 21st century, the early first decade before the 2009 mix came out, and I don't like them as much as I do the albums I bought in the 70s, but I only bought the later stuff, not the early stuff, so the early stuff was new to me in the first decade of the 21st century. Anyway, the next one is Tell Me Why, and this one the mix on this is not, in stereo, is not so good. In fact, the mono version sounds much better. Um, this is a point to point out that this one, Something New, has a lot of the tracks from Hard Day's Night remixed for stereo, and that version of it is much better. Um, next is I Cry Instead. And that one, again, the something new version is better than this. And then there's the instrumental version of I should have known better. That's followed by I'm happy just to dance with you. Uh, yeah, this one, the second version on something new is a little bit better, but not much. That's followed by an instrumental version of And I Love Her. And side two starts with I should have known better. And I don't hear that's and then that's followed by The Apophel which I can't hear a difference. I don't the sound the same between this version and the Something New version. Supposedly, Something New has better stereo mixes than this album. But I can't hear, hear a difference. Also, and I love her. Sounds pretty much the same between the two albums. I don't see that big of an improvement. That's followed by an instrumental version of Ringo's theme, which is actually the song This Boy. And then, Can't Buy Me Love, and finally, an instrumental version of A Hard Day's Night. Okay.
Okay, so that's what you get with Hard Day's Night, Hard Day's Night soundtrack on the American albums. So, I've, it's a good CD, worth hearing.